Hello everyone, I'm Marco Tempest and today I'd like to introduce you to a hero of mine. This is his story. It all began on a dark and stormy night. It was the 10th of July, 1856. Lightning lit the sky and a baby was born. His name was Nikola, Nikola Tesla. The baby grew into a very smart guy. Let me show you. Imagine a world without electricity, radio, neon lights, integrated circuits, remote control, and radar. Could one human being really be behind all that? Nikola Tesla is one of the masterminds of the modern age, and he might be called the man who invented the 20th century. You are invited to come with us on a journey to discover his life, which is like a thriller about technology, money, and power. Nikola Tesla's most famous invention, the alternating current system, is to this day the most important energy transmission system in the world. The second industrial revolution was based on this invention. It made energy available everywhere. Night became day. Artificial lighting, evening entertainment, brightly lit cities were a sensation that everybody loved. Tesla is also one of the fathers of wireless. He was the first inventor who presented the transmission of electromagnetic waves publicly. Today, we call it radio. Tesla's vision was to tap into the energies of the universe and make them available to us. He experimented with the fourth state of matter, then called radiant energy, today it is called plasma. These are cosmic rays, or cosmic energies, whose shadows we can see in the colorful displays of the northern lights. Tesla envisioned the wireless power feed from space by the transmission of cosmic rays harvested via satellites. And his worldwide wireless system was designed for the transmission of any kind of wave, to transmit information of all sorts and electrical energy to moving aircraft, electric cars, and railways, wirelessly fueled by a mysterious energy from the universe. Tesla made his way from immigrant to inventor of world fame. Then he was almost forgotten. So, who was Nikola Tesla really? The magician of electricity? An exceptional scientist whose inventions made the second industrial revolution possible? Or just a mysterious loner? Tesla now is on his spiritual planet. He's a role model for all of us. He was a great genius. He was, he, he was a sociable person, and uh, that should be emphasized. If I was to fall Tesla, I would say one thing that I think was a weakness in character, and that was he needed better lawyers. So what you're looking at here is merely particles formed into patterns by sound. Um, they were all over the place to start with, just in random positions on the plate. As soon as the sound appears, they form into these patterns because um, everything is sound. And it is sound that turns uh, matter and energy into form. Patterns on wings of uh, birds and insects are all the manifestation of the sound vibrations. Every organ in our body uh, resonates to a certain frequency. And when our thoughts um, and emotions and stress uh, and the vibrations that that causes de-harmonize the vibrational state of our various parts of our body, we become ill. So we think ourselves into illness because we're affecting the vibrational state of the body. And so every time you think and feel, you're resonating a frequency which is making the energy around you resonate to the same frequency. What you give out is what you create. Here you're seeing mini galaxies um, just formed by 
particles and sound. This is how the galaxies and the universe and the solar systems were formed and continue to be held in the structure they're in through sound. If the sound changes, the matter changes. Most the people think about electricity. They think about these. But what if I told you you could get electricity from thin air? To get this free electricity, just take these few simple parts and essentially we're going to turn them into one of these. So I started with these parts and this circuit plan and made a solderless circuit like this. Here, I'll check the baseline voltage of the system before hooking it up to the antenna. Notice, there is no voltage reading. Next, hook up the antenna. The radio waves brought in on this antenna are the source of the free electricity. And now let's measure the voltage now that we have the antenna hooked up. Check that out. This is free electricity. I'll just hold this up so you can take a closer look at what we're getting here. So what can you do with this free electricity? Well, I've just hooked up this cable, so I can use it in an attempt to charge up my cell phone. Nothing yet. Oh, looks like I've got enough voltage. And there it goes. So here's your shopping list to make your free energy receiver. It's not really free because it costs two dollars. But if you don't have your own antenna, you can make your own with that simple antenna wire. And here's a simple circuit plan. Enjoy!